we got a package. So we've taken a look at a lot of refurbished phones from Best Buy, Wish, Amazon, but I saw a company that probably shouldn't be selling phones that is GameStop. No, God, please, no. I bought this phone for about $400. It was a couple months ago, however, but I really wanna see how good of a job GameStop does when they refurbish their phones. This is an iPhone XR refurbished by GameStop. As you can see, it does come in the Apple original box. It looks like it's been through a few things. They did cover up the warning texts as well as information about the phone. Not really sure why they did that. As you can see, we have the played sticker here. So someone obviously traded this in and they either refurbished it or are just selling it as is. Let's, uh, let's open this up and check out the actual phone. So, uh, why? Taking a look at the phone's actual screen, it doesn't look too bad. I don't see a lot of scratches, some dirt in the actual ear speaker. It seems to be in fairly good condition. There doesn't seem to be any scratches on the back or the front or even the sides, which is surprising. The charging port is a little bit dirty and there are some scuff marks around those two pentalobe screws. It's likely that this phone has actually been opened before and repairs have been performed. We'll put everything aside and we're gonna boot up the iPhone XR. It might be dead. Oh, it's alive. The screen does actually appear to be Apple original. That's a pretty good sign so far. Don't look at my password. Hey. <laughs> we'll check the battery health. 87%. That is not good. Before we open this phone up and actually look at the internals, we're gonna test it out via software. So the phone passed all the tests, but there's one more thing we can do without actually opening it up to test to see if GameStop did a good job refurbishing this phone. Let's put this in 3Utools. 3Utools can tell us whether a component on this device has been changed without actually opening it up. It isn't 100% accurate and works by matching the serial number of the component to the device's actual serial number. Now we'll hit verification report. So 3Utools says everything's okay, but those screws tell me otherwise. We'll move everything aside and we'll hit this phone with a unscrew. You can definitely see the scuff marks a little bit closer now. Someone's been in here. Now we'll take our iFixit Jimmy tool. iFixit, please sponsor me. And we'll wiggle it between the screen and the actual frame. So there's a very tight seal between the screen and the actual frame. We'll pry into the iPhone XR with the guitar picks. That is the sound of a very healthy seal. Open it up. So on first glance, I really just don't think this has been opened before. So there's a fingerprint right here. I'm not sure if I did that or someone else did. I'm gonna take a little bit of a deeper dive, but so far it doesn't look like anything has been replaced. So I really don't think they've changed anything with this device. I was speculating that perhaps they changed the back glass, but you can even see the markings of the case that they were using. There's still a little line from where the camera cutout is. I can confirm that the screen is original because the flex cable says MK. It seems to have had the original seal with all the original parts. It was likely just a trade-in that was basically new. This iPhone XR that's refurbished from GameStop definitely passes the test. It's still unclear why the bottom screws had those scuff marks, but there's a possibility that it was just from wear and tear. GameStop, you get a 10 out of 10, and I'm surprised. In the future, when I do these videos, I wanna buy several refurbished products from one company to do a controlled test of multiple. Testing just one product is not the most accurate test. Let me know which company you guys want me to test out next. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, leave a like, subscribe, hit that bell button, subscribe again, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.